Hello everyone, welcome to our Sengoku Dynasty Survival Guide. We are talking cooking pots today because, uh, well you need them to make more advanced meals and quite a few other recipes actually, and uh, you might, you can technically get them from merchants, but like, if your luck is like mine, you just cannot uh, get the right merchant to have the right, you know, spawned item. So we're going to be talking about how you make them because honestly, at, at some point, you just can't rely on luck anymore. You just got to make it. So uh, the cooking pot. So how do you unlock it? So uh, first, you actually need to get to Dynasty Legends 7 uh, because you have to go and speak to the abbot over at the monastery. And the monastery is like all the way over here. Uh, this is like the starter village. You're going to have to go all the way here to the monastery once you reach Dynasty Level 7. Talk to the abbot there, and uh, he will give you uh, the ability to make another village. But more importantly, he unlocks a few different recipes, one of them being the cooking pot. So if you don't have the cooking pot recipe yet, just make sure that, like, you know, you get to, you do what you got to do to get to Dynasty, Leg uh, Dynasty Legend or Level 7, and then go pay him a visit, and he will uh, unlock that recipe for you. So we have it unlocked. We did the we did our little walk over there, run over there, really, to be honest. And now that we have it unlocked, we can make it at the blacksmith. So here's the recipe right here. It's unlocked. It only requires uh, six iron ore, which is pretty great. So we're going to go ahead and make that. Boom, we have one. Now, you have two options here when it comes to, like, making a sunken hearth with the cooking pot. You can uh, make the cooking pot first and then build your home. And then when it comes to, like, the furniture, you can then opt to, like, change one of these hearths to a uh, one with a cooking pot. Or if you already have a home built, like I do, you can change. You can still change the, the sunken hearth. So you, you have the ability to install one both before you 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 finish and and you, you build and finish a house and after you finish the house so here's our sunken hearth i'm going to pull out my hammer and we can see when we hover over this we have uh, an option to change there at the bottom if we press the f key which is what we're going to do and we have what was we, we have right now which is the sunken hearth and then we have sunken hearth with cooking pot now it's not enough just to have the cooking pot in your inventory. You are basically kind of like rebuilding this with the cooking pot. So you're going to also need 10 stone, two planks of any type, four firewood, and then obviously your cooking pot. So we have what we need. We're going to install it. And there it is. So now that we have our cooking pot, which is very exciting, let me tell you, we can go ahead and access it and we can see all the new recipes. Obviously we have some of our older, we have the, the cooked egg and all that. But we can also make oil in here now, uh, both from canola and from raw fish. We can make tea now, which is great. We have medicine, a bunch of different medicines that we can make. We have vegetable meals, which kind of covers over like all the different um, vegetables that you can grow in the game. Then you have, of course, you have your fish meals. Uh, if you have like your fishermen out there working and, and do, bringing in the fish. And then you have, of course, your different... Uh, meals here, your meat meals, which obviously, you know, the, the more, the better that they are, the more uh, ingredients they have. Uh, so that's kind of like all about the, the cooking pot there. So if you don't have one yet, and you just can't get a trader to like spawn one, you know, in their inventory for you to buy, then you can, you can make it. And I highly recommend just making it because it's just, it's just, it's just a waste of time. <laughs> Otherwise, just hoping that traders will have what you need. Uh, and they don't always show up in, like, some of the chests. I know some people have said, like, oh, just go here and it's the chest. And I've been to there and it hasn't spawned in the chest. So some of it's kind of random, you know. So I say just make it. And that's how you make it. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.